for waiting. Hi, I'll take a Euro plate. All right, anything else right there? That'll do it. All right, 1372, Guys, I have a hankering for a Euro. I'm gonna grab one. I actually a Euro plate to go. I'm gonna head to the cabin. So I'm gonna pay here for this thing and uh, we will see you guys up there. Okay guys, I had a nice safe trip coming up. A little bit of traffic, but uh, that's just the way she goes on a Friday night. Uh, I'm gonna do a few chores before I put those gyros together. Really looking forward to that. My friend the Pete's, they had a couple gyros last weekend. They sent me a photo of their meal. And it looks so good, man. I haven't had one for a while, so I'm looking forward to that tonight. Now, this is going to be a cabin weekend. There's not going to be any fishing on this, unfortunately. Uh, Sue and I started a project last week where we're laying gravel down in uh, about 10 acres of our property here. Uh, there's a nice walking trail that's always been there, and there were some low spots and some spots that needed some attention. So we had some gravel delivered and we are currently spreading that road base down there. So I'm hoping to uh, connect the whole thing by weekend's end. Plus, um, I purchased a jet pump. Uh, I'm hoping to replace the pitcher pump uh, on the well next door with this jet pump. Um, this will make our life a little easier. It's going to be mainly for showering and washing vehicles. So that's on the list also for projects. So uh, I did try that also last week and had a fail. I think basically because I bought the wrong pump. The pump I bought needed a pressure tank. Uh, didn't have a pressure tank. This one does not need one. So I got my fingers crossed. I'm going to have a successful install. So, I still have unpacking to do, but I'm going to head on over to the garage and uh, get the, the Polaris four-wheeler and the wagon. What I do, I'm not able to drive all the way back in the property, so I put a load of gravel in the wagon, truck it back there as far as I can, and then offload it into a wheelbarrow, and then take it from there. I'll show you more of that tomorrow. So, I am going to... Uh, Head over to the garage. I don't know if you can see it. No, probably not. Garage is that way. I'm going to head over to the garage and get the player. So come on along with me.
is all set for mooring. I think tomorrow's plan is I'm going to just get as much gravel to the bottom as I can and then Sunday wheelbarrow it into the position. That is not white snake. Any of you guys that are in central Wisconsin, turn on WGLX on Friday nights. It's Cricket's alternate universe. It's all covers. And uh, it's my favorite radio show. It's the best radio show I've ever heard of. Or ever heard. She kicks ass. Cricket. Friday nights. WGLX. Now. This is what I got from Athens Gyros. It's called the Euro Plate. There's enough here to make two Euros. So I'm going to put these together. I'm going to put one on the plate. I'll show you my finished product. I think uh, I think hams would be a good pairing for this one tonight. And of course, crickets. Alternate universe. Okay guys, this is round one. So I'm gonna kick back, I'm gonna enjoy a Euro. I'm gonna enjoy Cricket's alternate universe, WGLX. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I think my first project's gonna be the well pump, so let's cross our fingers. Let's hope for some water coming out of the earth. Um, I'm gonna chow, I'm gonna get some rest. The alarm's going to go off about 5.30 or so, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning, guys. Woke up to a frosty but beautiful Saturday morning. Now I think I mentioned the alarm, alarm clock was going off at 5.30. Um, it did go off at 5.30, but I wasn't having it. I reset it to 7. So it's about 7.30 right now. A little later start than I wanted, but a tough week at work. A busy week. I needed to sleep. Just unboxed the jet pump, and it looks pretty cool. It does not need a pressure pump. It's got functions built into it that uh, enables it not to need one for shallow wells. Uh, got a spot here to prime it. I like this one. It already has, it's already wired up with a power cord on off switch. Um, I'm going to go in the shed and I've got some one inch pipe. I think it's a one inch inlet, one inch outlet. And I think I'm all set for that. So I'm going to plumb this thing up and we'll walk her over to the area uh, where we want to pump some water. Okay, I've got the pump and all the pieces. So let's go on over there and piece her together. This has been a good old pump. And if for some reason this uh, application doesn't work, it's going to go right back on there. Okay, I've got the pump just kind of mocked up there on a cinder block. As you can see, I'm going to need to go get the shovel and do some uh, digging 
try to get this as level as possible before I turn her on. So I'm going to go ahead and get a shovel. Okay, that's much better. Again, let me review. Oops, let me review this. You got the point check valve to keep the pump primed. Now I decided to do a a rubber boot here simply for the ease of install and taking removing the pump when I uh, leave the property. I'll probably take it off of here. It'll be so easy. Just unscrew that, pop it out. Keep the honest people honest. Yeah, let's hook this up and uh, now I don't have any power here so I'm going to go grab a generator I have in the truck. Uh, I'm hoping that will run it. Um, and if this is successful, if I'm able to pump water, I may explore getting power run over to this area. It would probably be about a 100 foot run. There you have it. Here we go. Okay guys, uh, I could not get water to pump out of here. This is my second attempt, different jet pump. Um, I'm going to go on to another project. i got to move some rock here. So I'm suspecting maybe it's a check valve. So when I come back for my next effort, I'm going to remove that check valve and go without it, see if, that, uh, if I can get something to pump out of there. I didn't point, I did not drive this well, so I'm assuming it's 25 feet or under. That's what these jet pumps are supposed to be good for. Another possibility is it's not getting enough juice for that three quarter horse motor off of this generator. So I got, I'm going to try it one more time. If that doesn't cut it, I'm going to take it back to Menards and continue with the hand pump for now. But uh, I'm going to head on over to the four-wheeler and to my cart and I'm going to move some rock down into the woods for uh, tomorrow. We'll see you over at the rock pile. what the load looks like. 
There's about four wheelbarrow loads in there. So I offloaded from here into the wheelbarrow and then truck her on down into the woods. We're getting there. Okay. <clears throat> that is wheelbarrow load number 21. And I'm going to call her good right there for tonight. Tomorrow I'll take these 21 wheelbarrow barrel loads. And I'm going to go down the trail this way. Maybe I'll show you that quick. And continue where we left off last week. So I think I will grab you. Go look at that trail. See what I got in store for me. Another shot of that pile. I don't know if you can. The camera does it justice. Quite a bit of rock there though, 21 wheelbarrow loads. We're heading that away. Everything's starting to green up so nice. Here's where Sue was working last weekend. The old bull rake sitting here. I think this sitting for the week and getting rain on and stuff helped it. She did a great job, look at that. Looks awesome.
Yeah, my work cut out for me. She gets wet here. I'm gonna take this gravel here and continue that away. It's gonna be a project. What I'm gonna do now, speaking of projects, is head back over and see if I can get some water out of that well pump. If not, I'm gonna put the pitcher pump back on there. I'm gonna try to take the check valve off of there and see if that's the issue. So we'll see you over at the well. I don't know if this camera is picking up everything here. Something bad happened. I don't know if those are, I think those are little grouse feathers. So I'm guessing an owl or a hawk. Got a hold of this little grouse. There you can see him better. Look like grouse feathers to me, Partridge. Whatever it was, I had a bad evening. Well, my jet pump was a fail again, so old reliable here. What I think is the situation, <coughs> I'm not getting enough voltage for the generator to properly operate the jet pump. So, another project I'll put on my list is to uh, drive a point over by my outside power. That should solve the problem, I hope. In the meantime, I'm going to pump. So, uh, i got to pump some water here to water some new plant planted trees. And uh, when I'm finished with that, I'm going to clean up. And we'll see you guys at dinner. Okay, just fired up the old Weber. I know we're losing light. I had a busy day. Just had an awesome shower in the shower house. Thank you very much. Pump some well water. That is really just it's great. It feels like it's really soft water. Anyway, the Weber is torching. I am going to... Uh, Clean out the freezer here in the cabin a little bit. I've got a, a venison burger. I've got a turkey burger. I'm going to put lettuce and cheese on those. And uh, mayonnaise only on the turkey burger. Mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard on the veni. And then my honey cubed me up some potatoes. They're usually the breakfast potato blend, but I'm going to have them tonight, and I'm going to eat half of them tonight, and half of them for breakfast tomorrow. So, uh, thank you, Sue. She cubed me up some potatoes. Of course, I added some onions to them. And I, for the first time ever, made my own hot sauce over the winter. And it's been fermenting for like three months. I simply call it the pro sauce. So that's going to go on the taters also. So we're going to get these rolling, let those coals get good and hot, and I'm looking forward to dinner. Hey guys, uh, I had to turn the music down tonight because it's not covers and uh, I've been nailed on a couple of copyrights before. They are playing my one of my favorite bands Metallica right now, but don't leave her down. Okay, food's off the grill. I'm going to start my first sandwich is going to be the venison burger. You know, I know you've seen these meals a lot for me, but what can I say? I'm a meat and potato guy. So there's the Venny burger. I got uh, Sue's potatoes there with some onions. And I am going to put some shredded lettuce on there tonight. So I'm going to kick back. I'm going to chow. I don't know, alarm's going to go off kind of early tomorrow. I'm not even going to tell you when. I have no idea. I'm not going to brag like I'm going to get up at 5 or 5.30. I don't know when I'm going to get up. But I do have 21 wheelbarrows of dirt to move in the morning. I'm going to do that. I may get on the tractor and mow the other side of the property. And then I head on home for uh, Mother's Day. Uh, share some presents with Sue, so... I'm going to chow this out, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. 
Good morning, guys. You see, I actually got up at 6.30 this morning. Um, some gobblers woke me up. So they were somewhere close by. I never did spot them, but uh, yeah, they were gobbling this morning. So I'm just finishing up my second cup of coffee. And I'm going to get out there and spread those uh, 21 wheelbarrows of uh, gravel. So uh, I'm going to get all my equipment ready out here and uh, we'll see you guys out in the woods. Okay, my plan is I've got some low spots back there. And my thinking is if I lay some plywood down that I may not have to put as much rock down in order to advance. So I'm going to be trucking that wood back there and uh, laying that down and putting the rock on top of that. So hopefully it works. Let's get at her. Love the smell of AMS oil in the morning. You know, I always save scrap lumber. I save scrap lumber, I save some nuts and bolts for the toolbox. So chances are someday you're gonna need them.
Okay guys, I ran out of the gravel that I trucked down here yesterday. I'm very happy with my progress. I think by this time next week, see the trail goes this way and then it comes around and it runs parallel over there. You can't see it. Not all of it is, is wet though, so we're only filling in where it's wet so we can use the trail and keep dry feet. So I think by this time next week, the trail will be connected. I'm glad I got up a half hour early. It's about 10 after 10. I'm gonna go over to the garage, see if I can't get the tractor started. And Mo Dog Park in that area over there. So uh, after I get a mowing or so, I'm gonna have Mother's Day brunch. It is Mother's Day today, so all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. I know this you'll see this after the fact, so I hope you had a nice Mother's Day. Sending love out to my sweetie. I'm gonna see her later. And treat her to a nice meal. Her favorite is Qdoba's and I kind of like that too. So let's head over to the garage, let's get that tractor going, do some mowing and have a Mother's Day brunch. Okay guys, I'm gonna get my brunch going here. Here's what I'm doing this morning. These are my leftover potatoes from last night. Spread those out. And uh, I'll get a little pro sauce on there. Oh, yeah. Three over easies. A handful of links. And some toast. Looks pretty dang good to me. Let's get after it. Guys, that's going to be a wrap for this weekend. Uh, it's very productive. I think the next time I come up I'm going to be able to connect the trail. It should be very satisfying. Um, I don't plan on putting the boat in the water again until this trail project is complete. Now I mentioned uh, earlier that it's Mother's Day weekend and uh, you guys have seen this tree in the winter several times. This is, uh, this is Mother Huber. Um, this is a memory of Sue's mom who passed away in 2015. Silver maple. We love to put the lights on in the winter. Here's to you, Mother Huber. A great lady. She raised seven wonderful, functional children. That's quite a feat. Now, um, what we have over here is a new addition. This is Mother Pro. My mother Nancy passed away March 6th of this year after a long and courageous battle with Alzheimer's. Uh, I miss her very much. She touched the, the lives of many people. Uh, I, I did my grieving in March. So today it's not about a bummer being Mother's Day in that first Mother's Day without my mom. Today is a day of celebration. 
This is the day to celebrate your mothers, both if they're with you now or if they've passed. Have a good thought for your mom. Celebrate them. They're very special people. So uh, this is a new tree. I, I'm going to come up here as much as I can to water. You have to do that with the new planting. So that's a wrap from camp this week. This is going to be a cabin series. I think I may do a start a new series called Cabin Series when it's just a work weekend. So uh, again, I hope to finish up the trail in the near future so I can get the boat back in the water. But there's plenty of time. Fishing's always good on the peep. So until next time, I want to thank you very much for watching. I don't say this a whole lot. Like and subscribe if you wish. I appreciate all the subscribers I have. I've got some real cool people. So uh, until next time, we'll see you guys.